I like history. I actually enjoy a thing called geographical history. Basically where, you know, you can take history, but you can visualize it on, on a map. Gaining knowledge as a whole in my life has been really important. Um, you know, the way we gain knowledge today is through the internet. The internet has access to whatever you want. My beginning experience with the internet was when I was nine, when my parents gave me the privilege of owning my own computer. A few years later, um, I was also able to get my own phone. Now that I had these two devices, I was able to spend as much time as I wanted to be able to gratify my want for gaining information, gaining knowledge, learning new things about new people, about figures in history, about wars, all in all things that just wouldn't really lift me up spiritually. Um, because of this, my devotional life was compromised. Things, my time that I spent with God was not the same anymore. I began to just lose track of things around me. Everything was honed in on this one thing. And because of that, I wasn't able to spend time with things like my family, my, my friends, my, my even going out into nature. I, I didn't do that anymore. I remember one day, it was, it was actually a Wednesday. I hadn't set my priorities straight. Um, it, it was rough. In my, the things were going on in the family that just were not jiving. And the source of the problem, of course, was this whole thing with me spending too much time on my computer and my phone. And you know, it was just all in all a really bad day. Went downstairs to my room and uh, I was just I was just upset. I was mad and I rashly just call, cried out to God. I was just like, Lord, you know I'm addicted to this. I can't change it. So if you want me to get rid of this, you're, you're gonna have to change it because I can't. I give you one week, one week, Lord. If, if it's not gone one week, then I'm just gonna forget it and just continue living my life. Then, continued on with the rest of my day. I didn't think much about what I just said. Never realized that, that would be important. I very soon just forgot about it and didn't make anything of it, you know? Monday, Tuesday, regular days. And Wednesday came again, and beginning of the day seemed the same, and that evening went to go plug in my phone, and um, plugged it in to the wall, noticed that it didn't make any any, any sort of notification that it, that it was charging. Um, I, I noticed that it was just kind of just blank, didn't do anything, but I didn't think nothing of it. I mean, I had other things I needed to do, so I just kind of left, continued on with the rest of my evening came back later and this time the phone which is black tried turning on didn't turn on i was like hey, what's going on here so i figured maybe the cord the cord maybe the cord's got something wrong so I tried out a different cord it didn't work i thought what, what's going on here i tried on different devices it's just nothing it wasn't working the phone was not there then all of a sudden it hit me like wall breaks words popped into my mind i give you one week this just wasn't a coincidence. This, God just fried my phone. Thankfully, the Lord did help me with that addiction. I learned a very important lesson on the power of God, but I even learned an even more important lesson, that God's power is not just in executing judgment or punishment, if you call it. It's that, that he loves you and that he's able to help you and he wants to help you. It's more than anything, he wants to help you be able to overcome the things in your lives that you need to change. The Lord help me and I know he can help you all too. You know, addiction is a thing that we don't like to say very often because it puts a name on us. Addiction, we, when we think of addiction, we think of things like alcoholics and drug addicts and things that are nasty, but addiction is not those things. It doesn't have to be major. Addiction simply is just having something that is more important than God. If God is not first in your life, then something else is. And whatever that is, is an addiction.
But the only healthy addiction that we can have is an addiction to learn more and grow closer to Christ. I know that Christ helped me, and I know he can help you too in any situation you have, whether it be small, or whether it be great. He's always there looking out for you in any way possible. All you have to do is let him.